so day one I had a few different tables. My very first table was um, pretty, it was a bunch of people who I think had never played the main event before. Um, I didn't get to play with them for too long. I played with them for maybe uh, four hours or so. Uh, probably the, the most entertaining thing happened when I got moved to a new table. And this, um, this gentleman uh, from Sweden was playing this huge hand when I sat down and was just doing a lot of chatting. And, you know, he, he busts this guy and he's like, yeah, I just, I told this guy I'm gonna bust him. Like, you know, he was tired of me three betting him and all this stuff. So him and I, he opens and the next like four hands that he plays, I play against him. We end up playing this this pot on the river where he opens, it's it's like the fourth hand in a row that he's opened and the fourth hand in a row that I've uh, V-pipped against him. And he opens like under the gun one and I flat with uh, queen 10 of clubs. Flop comes three, six, three with two clubs. He bets like 40% pot, I call. Turn is an offsuit nine, he checks and I bet like 60% pot. And he does this kind of thing where he goes to like, he's thinking, you know, and he goes to like get calling chips and then just like instantly reaches back and then check raise is kind of small. So I call and the river is a four of clubs or a two of clubs um, completing the flush for me. And he just instantly checks. So I, I bet like 19,000 into 23,000 and he starts tanking. And while he's tanking, he's just trying to talk to me. He's like, hey, why betting so big? What are you doing? And I'm okay with letting people take their time. But then he, he gets like, starts just staring at me and then he goes like this. He's like, hey, hey, why'd you bet so big? And then I just, I'm like, okay, clock. And then just go back silent again. And he just explodes. He's like, oh, this is a huge pot. Like, why would you? And huge pot meaning like, I mean, we were, you know, I, like I said, I bet like 19K or something. And, but I have like a hundred at this point and he has like almost 200 and we're still early in day one. But yes, it's a big pot, but you know, it's not some, something crazy. And so after the clock gets called down, you know, he tanks down and he finally calls and doesn't show his hand or whatever, but loses. He is just furious at me. But then we, after another, you know, another level or so, we get moved from the pavilion to the Amazon. Somehow we become friends in the hallway. And then he's, you know, he is just like, every time he opens, he's like, oh, come, come get them again. I'm gonna come get your chips back, you know? So it was, it was pretty entertaining. And then I had, you know, my stack had built up with that hand um, to culminate with like 15 minutes or so left in the night. There's a hand where I open with King 10 of hearts and four people call, uh, including this gentleman. It's like two people behind him in the small blind and the big blind call. The flop comes king 10 six with one heart. Two people check, I opt to check. And the guy, the next guy to act bets like two thirds pot. Everybody folds to me and I decide that I probably don't need to check raise at this point. Um, so I opt for a call. The turn is seven of hearts, giving me backdoor flush draw. And I check to this guy and this guy bets like 15 into 25 um, with like 60 back or maybe 55 back. And I decided to go all in, which I think probably not the greatest choice. I could just call, leave his bluff continues in. And he has thinks forever. And it's one of those main event spots where you're just like, oh my God, this is so sick. Like maybe I should, I should fold. And he's like talking to himself out loud. And at this point, when he's been talking to himself for quite a while, I realized that I don't have the best hand. <laughs> like it is, you know, he, he has his sixes or sevens or, you know, who knows, tens or something. And he finally calls with sixes and holds and just, you know, has a huge celebration, which is cool. Like it's, you know, obviously like I, I, I don't begrudge anybody celebrating for winning a big pot in the main. So that was okay. Um, and that led to me bagging fairly small. I bagged like 21,000, I think, uh, which is really disappointing after having, you know, a good stack all day long and bagging a small amount. Um, so then day two, I, I think I knew one person at my table. Um, it was, it was an okay table. I spun my stack up a little bit and then ended up, I had a couple of failed bluffs and then got myself back down to 
um, to like 12 big blinds and got queens and aces after, you know, a series of somewhat unfortunate events and failed uh, optimistic bluffs. <laughs>